to my channel and to my final video of 2020. So I have applied the gem stiletto tips to Lottie and this is what I'll be working on today. Absolutely love these tips. You can get them in the box of 500 tips and you can also get refill bags. These tips you can chop the ends off to create a ballerina, you can create a long tapered square, a short tapered square, a square, you can pretty much do anything with them. They're very flexible so you can pinch them slightly if you need to. I love them but for this design I'm going to keep them as a nice long stiletto. So I'm just going in with my Perfect Nails Clear Acrylic, just putting down my thin clear base and then we will get into the design. And this design, I actually did something quite similar for New Year's Eve, uh, for, not New Year's Eve, this is New Year's Eve. <laughs> I did similar for Bonfire Night and somebody said when I posted that design, oh, that would be perfect for New Year's Eve. So I am going to do something similar, but different, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm starting off on the middle two nails, so the ring finger and the middle finger and I am laying down a base of black acrylic. So I started with a teeny, teeny tiny little bead so I could just do the cuticle. Because black is so pigmented I like to paint it on incredibly thin uh, but I like to get the cuticle done first so that I can make that nice and neat and not get any acrylic on the skin. Obviously it's not real skin, but you still don't want to get acrylic on there because it's a pain to get off. And if you do, you want to get it off straight away. So I'm just going in with little wet beads and painting it off, uh, painting it off, painting it on. I don't paint it off. Uh, and then I'm going to repeat the process on the middle finger. Don't worry, there's that bit around the cuticle, the tips just slid out slightly. So there's not really a gap there, it just needs putting back in. Um, so as you can see there, doing the cuticle bead first and then just painting the rest of the product down the nail and then I like to work small wet beads and giving my brush a really good clean off afterwards. Um, I recommend not putting a white towel under your paper towel, kitchen roll, whatever you use. Use a dark coloured towel if you're using black. It stains, it gets everywhere. And then when this is all painted on, I'm going to let it dry, give my brush a really, really, really good clean before going in with the next colour. And for this, I'm using a silver. Now, I think this is Milky Way, another Moira acrylic. It's a Moira acrylic. Uh, I think it's Milky Way. You could just use a fine silver glitter. Um, but I just thought for ease I would use this. And again, just like with the black, I'm um, just painting this on nice and thin, nice wet beads, just painting it down. I'm still doing that cuticle bead first, but it's not gonna stain in quite the same way as black does. And if you are using black on clients, I highly, highly recommend that thin clear base. I always recommend that, but even more so with black. So for this design, I really, really wanted to use this glitter. This is one of the ones from the Nail Team Advent Calendar and I thought I would use these flame stickers which I used in the New Year's Eve video. No, the fireworks night video. This is the New Year's Eve video. So I'm going in first with that chunky tinsel mix and I'm just applying that sort of from the middle down to the tip, just pushing it in in little areas I just want it uh, sort of sparsely applied and I want it to look like the colours of fireworks going off in the sky if you kind of get what I'm trying to go for so I don't want loads I want just to move it around using the tip of my brush so that we can see all those different coloured chunky tinsels and like so I'm gonna let that dry in place and do the other two nails and here I'm just doing sort of the full nail but again I don't want to fully cover the base colour I just want um, I want those chunky tinsel bits just sparsely on there almost so you can still see the base colour but it's got that effect of fireworks and sparklers. Going to do exactly the same on this finger um, I wanted to go for maybe a little bit more at the cuticle 
and then just fade it down. Now I've taken this to the real time speed so you can see how I used my brush to push those bits of glitter into place and then when I'm happy with how they're looking around the cuticle I move them around and in some places and with some of those pieces I'm actually individually placing them with the very tip of my brush. Um, going in with a bit more clear acrylic just to wash if I need it and I went in with a bit more of that chunky tinsel. Uh, which is why I've named these glitters Chunky Tinsel. Chunky tinks, chinks, 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 Tinsel, I love them. Oh, I really love them. So I'm just faffing now, moving them around with the tip of the brush. I want to see the silver through, but I still want looks like sparks. Sparks, that's the word I was looking for. Now obviously this is the difference from this design and the Bonfire Night design, but I did use these flame stickers. So I'm going to use these hollow silver on the middle two nails. Just picking ones that are going to fit nicely. I think I applied two, a sort of medium size and a smaller one on this nail, and then I went for a bigger one on the middle nail. Give them a good press down, um, ready to cap in clear acrylic. In the other video, I actually put them on wet acrylic. Here it's dry, giving them a really good press down. But I would always recommend going back and giving them another good press, press, press before capping because you don't want anything sticking up. So this is how they look with that design all done. And here they are, capped and filed to shape. Um, love this design. It was really simple, but I loved how it looked. However, I felt it just needed a touch more. So I've got my Crystal Nails Gem Glue. I have got some pointed back and flat back crystals. A little micro swab here, which I use to apply the glue. And then my Crystal Katana and tweezers. So putting the biggish blob, and I'm gonna do a cluster of three pointed back crystals. I'm going to do this on the other black nail but on the other side of the cuticle. So doing a little cluster of three and then I'm just going to do a couple of flat back crystals going around the cuticle and down the side wall slightly. Um, just sort of again a bit like sparks coming off. Now this design I loved without the crystals they were just a bit of extra bling you could do similar but without the crystals. So just adding a couple more flat backs and then when happy I'm going to cure this and I'm going to do the same on the other nail um, and then fully cure the gel for 60 seconds. But because this is video and the magic of editing I have hey presto Done them both. <laughs> so with all those crystals applied, I ran out of the ones I'd used on the first nail, so they're different colours, but hey ho, fireworks are, they're like every colour under the rainbow, so didn't matter. Now we are going to I really see these fireworks come to life with my perfect nails and their white top coat. So look at that hollow. Oh, look at that chunky tinsel love it. Just, I love these glitters. We, there was a really nice selection of chunky tinsel mixes in the advent calendar. I love them all but this one was perfect for fireworks I felt. So just butting right up to those crystals. Um, if you can't quite get in and around them go in with a nice little detailer brush. This is my top coating brush. And then when all of this is applied, I'm going to pop it in my LED lamp, I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. And that is the final design of 2020. Done. I thought I'd go out with a bang. Yes, pun intended. And there we are. That is the design. I do hope you love it as much as I do. And I do hope you've enjoyed this video. So with this design all complete, I think it is time for me to say thank you so much to all of you for your support this year. 
uh, to all of you that have watched my videos, that have subscribed, that have commented, that have liked, I appreciate every single one of you. 2020 has been, state in the obvious, a really strange year. Um, and all we can do is cross our fingers and hope that there are better things to come in 2021. But what I can assure you, whether you want me to or not, is that 2021 I'm going to be bringing you bigger and better content, or at least that is my plan. Uh, more videos, more variety, and hopefully come the end of the year from my brand new nail room. But that is it. That is my 20... 20 videos and designs all done as with all of my designs and videos this year if you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and check the description box because I put all product details and any information you may need in there I also post pictures sometimes more pictures on my Facebook and Instagram so if you don't follow me there please check it out. The links are in the description box as well. So head over there and you can see more pictures and more designs. I hope whatever you are doing tonight for New Year's Eve, you enjoy. It's not what we used to, well, I'm normally at home, but it's different, but we should still celebrate the end of this year because let's face it, we need to and um, bring in the new year with our families, our loved ones, and a little bit of excitement, because let's face it, we're going to need it. That is it from me. I've waffled on more than enough. Thank you so much to all of you for your love and support through 2020. I cannot wait to bring you more in 2021. But for me, for this year, thank you so much. Have a fabulous night. Take care, stay safe, enjoy. I love you all so much and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you again in another video next year. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>